Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So if you know want to know everything about piles in Plexus, this is the tutorial for you. So before I start, if you're into civil engineering and you love learning, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be very helpful for you. So I've been asked a lot about piles, how to draw a pile in Plexus, how does it work and how to model it. So I'll just do this in this tutorial. First of all, I've defined the material, the soil and everything. So I'm gonna do a borehole here. I'm gonna add a material. Let's say it's uh, 40 meters. I'm gonna edit the borehole. I'm gonna put the material to clay. I'm gonna edit also the project properties. Put them to uh, 40 and 40. So I'm going to go to structure. So how do we model a pile? A pile is modeled by an embedded beam. So what is an embedded beam? An embedded beam can be a pile, a rock bolt, or a grouty body. For example, for anchors. So how do you model it? First of all, we should draw a line. I'm going to put two points. The first one is 20, 20, 0, 20, and 20 minus, I'll say, 18. So this is my pile. This line will be the pile. I'm going to right click and create a embedded beam. Then I'm going to assign a material. I've created already a material that's named pile. So what's the, this material? I'm going to go to embedded beams. I'm going to edit it. We can see the color, the material, it's elastic. The properties here. So uh, uh, here it's uh, the mass of the pile. I, uh, I made it here 6 because when you put a pile in plexus, let's say the diameter is 1.5 like here. So the plexus uh, software, will take in consideration uh, the volume of the soil in the pile. So because the pile is, is modeled in plexus like a line, uh, the plexus will not subtract uh, the volume of the soil. That's why you should pay attention and uh, subtract the mass of the pile from the mass of the soil. For let's say the mass of the pile is 25 and the soil is 19. So 19 minus 25, it's 6. So that's how we define it. Here we can see the diameter and the T-skin. So what's the actual uh, actual, actual skin for resistance? The actual skin, res uh, skin resistance is the resistance of the traction on the skin of the pile. So it's the outside of the pile, how, he, how it will handle the traction. And here the base resistance is uh, the point resistance of the pile, the head of the pile, how much it can handle a, uh, a force. So here it's uh, start and end, it's the head of the pile, which is the highest point, and here it's the end of the pile, which is the lowest point. So the pile in plexus is also modeled in its uh, middle and not the uh, circumference. So uh, the, the force is took in the middle. So now I'm gonna also create a point load. I'm gonna say that this load is uh, minus, I say it's minus uh, 100 kilonewtons, which is 10 tons. So I'm gonna create a mesh. I generate my mesh here. And then I'm gonna go to the stage construction, add a phase. Here I'm gonna turn on the embedded beam and the point load. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them to plastic and the K0 procedure. I'm gonna launch the calculation. Okay, so here's the calculation. It will not take long because it's only one pile. So if you want to know also how to draw a building with pile, I made a tutorial. I leave the link in the description box also. So let's see the output of Plexus. 
here we can see the displacement in phase one okay so this is the displacement you can see the displacement around the pile here we can also uh, we can also double click on the pile okay so we are on, on double clicking on the pile now we can see the forces in the pile so let's say uh, the end force the moment t skin so there's also something i didn't mention in the pile when you make a pile uh, this embedded beam there's also the behavior of the uh, embedded beam so it's or a pile or a rock bolt or a grouty body by default it's pile and then here's the connection the connection point is top so top is the highest point in the embedded beam and bottom is the lowest point then there's a connection which is rigid hinged or free free it can take no forces in the x and y direction and no rotation hinged it can take forces in all direction and can take moments and the rigid it can take forces and moments rotation that means so uh, if you go again and see the output now I'm gonna make uh, a uh, section Uh, I think it's it was one twenty to twenty. Okay, so I'll press on control plus. So it's the initial phase. I'm gonna go to phase one. Okay, I'm gonna go to phase one. I was in the initial phase. I'm gonna do a cross section which is zero twenty one twenty. So now we can see the displacement of the pile. Here you can see the maximum displacement. Here you can see the values, and you can see how the soil is affected. So if I press on Ctrl plus, you can see how the soil is affected around the pile. So this is it for this tutorial. If you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching.